Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wachana. I do everything for modded Minecraft and server backend. Now, today we're going to be looking at the Technic Launcher. Now, this is a very straightforward launcher and it's a lot simpler than some of the others out there. You're specifically going to be wanting to use this if you're playing on Techit or Techit 2 or Hexit or any of these Technic packs. Now, it's a very simple launcher compared to the rest. So, you can see, you know, once you've downloaded it and logged in, uh, this is what you're going to be greeted with. When you launch it, you are going to have this Technic Launcher console up here as well. And you are going to start on the Discover page. Now, it can't go full screen, which drives me nuts. And the Discover screen, basically, is just like some, you know, new updates and suggested packs, etc. And to join the Discord, um, we have up here in the top right, Launcher Options. We're going to click that. You have General Settings. And this is where you can see... You can either change the stable stream or the beta stream of the launcher. If we click that, it's going to say you need to restart the launcher to take effect. And it's just the beta or the release version of the actual launcher itself. Then we can choose the language. We can choose that when you launch a Minecraft mod pack, do you want to hide this launcher, close this launcher, or keep it open? This here is your install folder. This is where your instances are going to go. If you want to change that, click change. And it's going to bring up this. You can go into portable mode, which is the best for users on the go. And it installs to a thumb drive. And then you can run the launcher executable from the install folder. The standard install is uh, going to be, you know, the actual directory um, that you're changing the entire thing for. Uh, you can untick this and put it wherever you want. Otherwise, I would just generally leave this as the default directory. Then we have the client ID. You can untick this to get rid of the console. I'm not really sure why you'd want to have that up. And then you can tick this one so that when you launch the Technic Launcher in future, it's going to start you off in the Mod Packs tab rather than the Discover tab. I think that would be a good way to do it personally. You can then also open the logs, which is going to open up the logs for the Technic Launcher itself here. And then we have Java settings. Here you can click which version of Java you have depending on what you have installed and what version of Minecraft you're running. Minecraft 1.18 and above does require Java 17, whereas 1.16 and below will require Java 8. And here you can add another version. Again, it's going to ask you for the directory of where your Java is saved to add that extra version. This is your memory. Now, for me, for some strange reason, it had this allocated to 1 gig. When you launch a pack, it is going to warn you if you don't have enough RAM allocated. Um, and then this is where you can put your Java arguments yourself. You can also tick this to say, you know, confirm before changing Java and RAM and to use the Mojang Java runtimes. Then we're going to go to video settings. And in here you can select the size of your Minecraft window, default size, full screen or custom dimensions where it will let you uh, individually change the width and the height and stencil buffer enabled or disabled. Then we can go to About, and it tells you a bit about uh, the Technic Launcher. So that's that. That is the Launcher options up here. Next, we're going to go to Mod Packs. Now, this is going to show you all of the pre-defined uh, mod packs that Technic offers, like Hexit 2 and Techit. You can see here with Cinder RPG, um, I actually have this installed. You can see it says Delete Pack if I want to uninstall it. And you can see there's an update available. Now, if I press play, it's going to say, would you like to update the pack? And if I say yes, it's going to automatically update the pack before launching the game. Uh, if I say no, it's then going to launch the game. Uh, as you can see, the launcher is closing and then it's going to launch Minecraft. You can also go here to mod pack options. And in here, you can change the install folder of this mod pack. You can also select the version here. So the recommended version, the latest version, or a specific version of the mod pack will be listed down here. And you can also reinstall the packs. So if you have any issues, etc., you can totally reinstall it here. The main page here is showing you how many likes it has, installs, how many times it's been ran, and uh, if you want to join you know, uh, the Discord for it, a slight uh, description, etc., and the latest updates. The thing is with this launcher is it does have access to like curseforge mod packs etc but you have to search for it there's no default library so in this search bar here i could put in rlcraft oh so i can put in rlcraft up here in this search bar and it will show me rlcraft and you know all these different mod packs that it thinks are you know relate to the search of rlcraft and we can install it here 
However, if you're just looking for a pack to play and you don't know the specific name of one and you're just kind of browsing, you can't really do that on here. And for me, that's probably the biggest thing that is going to stop me personally from using uh, the Technic launcher. Now, you can also go over here onto news and it's just going to tell you some updates, etc. about the launcher. Um, and that's pretty much it. That is literally it. It's a very, very simple launcher. If you do go on their website, you can see all of the packs in the library and, and like go through it in there. But the whole idea of a launcher for me is that you don't need to because it's in the launcher. So I really would recommend just using CurseForge or um, Feed the Beast if you're not going to be using one of these mod packs that are kind of advertised here. Um, I hope that showed you everything you were looking to find out about the Technic Launcher. If you guys are looking to join a mod pack server, um, I do actually host about 15, I think at this point, uh, modded Minecraft servers. Just do join my Discord for that. There's no whitelist or anything. If you have any server issues yourself or Java issues, Minecraft issues, any mod questions, anything at all that you need help with regarding Minecraft, vanilla or modded, although we are a modded community, um, feel free to join Discord or comment down below and I will help you with whatever it is you need. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe.